What is up players, it's Warboss Tay up in his mug doing an unboxing of Forge World's Contemptor Dreadnought. Forge World resin is so great to work with and um, I'm going to be showing you all the pieces, I'm going to show them built up and uh, give you my final thoughts at the end. So the Contemptor Dreadnought, <laughs> lovingly referred to as the bathtub, has that uh, Imperial Aquila on the front some purity seals, there's the helmet, and uh, the knee guards, They're like little knee pads. I had no idea what those were when I first was looking at it because there's no instruction manual that comes with it. Here are the leg pieces. Uh, unfortunately, you have to kind of figure them out yourself, and if you have not built many dreadnoughts like myself, then it might be a little bit more difficult. Those are the arm pads. You'll notice that there are some balls and uh, joints or balls and sockets for the joints and they really really help when piecing this thing together. I noticed a little bit of a mold line on the side of this piece of leg armor here. Easily scraped off, you're not going to find many and uh, I'm going to show you now how I do it. I like to use the back of my hobby blade because it makes it ensures and it makes sure that I don't gouge any resin out of the actual piece. It's very easy if you're using the actual blade of your hobby knife to, you know, take a chunk of that resin out and we don't want to do that definitely. And so a little bit of effort will definitely help to clean those pieces. And uh, here I think were the, oh that's that's like the, um, the cod piece, the uh, lower body. And yeah, there you see an identical mold line there that I'm going to have to scrape off later. And here's a little back engine piece. You might remember in my uh, Working with Forge World resin video, I had shown how I use the super glue activator from uh, Ar Army Painter. Really great. You get two sets of feet and uh, it's up to you to decide which one you want to choose. I think they look like they're wearing like little robot sneakers. They remind me a lot about of the uh, robots you see, the robo brains you see in Fallout games. Big clunky feet. So here's what my guy looks like all built up. Put him on the base. I'm gonna add a little bit of decoration to the base, but I wanted him for my Carcharodon's project to look very, uh, very stoic and stolid, and very strong and beefy. So I'm gonna be magnetizing the arms and uh, putting the weapons on. I'll do a separate video for that if you're interested. But yeah, I really, really love the Contemptor and uh, now they release them in plastic in the Betrayal at Calf boxed set. But Games Workshop, Forge World, they've done a great job just making new versions of the, con of the, uh, the Dreadnought and the Contemptor is definitely right up there. So I give it an A+. Get your hands on them if you can. They're totally posable and you're gonna have a lot of fun. Thanks for watching, everybody.